I'm going to show you in this video the simplest way to tie a knot at the end of the thread. Now sometimes people take it and they try twisting it and they try tying a knot and it is so frustrating. And for me, I like things quick, simple, and effective. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tie a quick knot in the end of the thread. And you can use this with all kinds of threads and you can um, use it for different thickness of knots. So what you do is you take your, your needle in your thumb and middle finger and you take your thread and you lay it on your index finger. You lock it down with your needle. So just like that. So holding your, holding your needle with your thumb and your middle finger, lock the thread onto your needle. Now you can see my needle comes a little bit further than my fingertip. That's gonna allow me to wrap my thread. So I, I want three wraps, one, two, three. That will be a nice knot for me. So now I'm just going to put my thumb over the wraps and pull the needle through the thread. And look at this, done. A perfectly tied knot. Now say I wanted a thinner knot. I could do, let's cut this off. Maybe I was working on, on silk or something where I didn't want that big of a knot. I would hold my needle, place it on my index finger. I would just wrap it once, pull it through, done. Little tiny knot, very small knot. And what if I wanted a great big thick knot? What do you think I would do? I would pick up my needle, thumb and middle finger, find my end, lay it on my finger here, keeping my needle over the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten wraps. This is just for demo purposes. I don't know that you'd ever need 10, 10 wraps, but you could. I'm gonna hold the wraps, pull them together, and hold my wraps between my um, index finger and my thumb. Gently pull the needle through all of the thread. Hold on to that tail. There's all those wraps. And then when I tie it tight, I have a nice big thick knot. Look at that lovely knot.